next fly we're going to tie is an all-around dry fly called the stimulator. It imitates both caddis and small stone flies and is a fly that most people put on when they don't know what else to use because it's such a good one. It was developed by a friend of mine, Randall Kaufman, who gave it the great name Stimulator. And I want to share this fly with you because it's got a lot of techniques that we've already gone over and it's one I know you'll want to have in your box. And I'll guarantee you, when you're done tying this, you'll tie it better than most places that sell them. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with a, uh, a tail that's made up of elk hair, just like we did on the last uh, fly. And we're going to get some small fibers, just a few, and we, we can stack it. It's not necessary that you stack it, but you can. We're going to stack uh, so we have it nice and neat. And it's important that you do what we're about to do. First of all, we're using an orange thread 6 aught and we're going to start it again. This is kind of hard to figure out where the shank is, but if you look right here, that's the shank. And we're going to go halfway down the shank. Now, we're going to take our stacked elk hair and we're going to trim it so that it's about a quarter of the shank. Let's take a look at it. Nope, it's just a little bit too long yet. So we're going to take it right to, let's actually bring our thread back here. This will help you gauge it right there. That's where we're going to do it. And let's measure our quarter. That's just about right. But it's important that we don't let this hair go beyond that halfway point. And we're going to trim it. Because that's going to be the way of keeping this fly in proportion. There we go, halfway point. And we're going to come right to the back here, right where the barb is. Ooh, this fluorescent orange is a pretty uh, wild color, isn't it? Uh, we're going to get some gold wire. The gold wire is going to help reinforce the, the uh, body. I'm going to tie that in. I tie it on the other side of the body, just like this. There it is. Now, what we're going to do is tie in a brown uh, saddle hackle. We're going to use that to rib the fly. You can tie it either way. Uh, Randall actually ties his, when he ties his own, the opposite way. Tie the tip end in. So we'll at least do that part of it. The tip end in. Now we're going to wrap back to that point. Now when we tie the tip in, what's going to happen as we go forward, it's going to progressively get a little larger. That's why we tie the tip in rather than the butt end. It's about one of the few flies that we do this with. Actually, elk hair caddis are tied that way. We're going to use a fluorescent yellow antron. Again, if, uh, we're going to dub. You know, we've, we've already had the dubbing lesson, but we'll go over it again because you can never have too much dubbing lesson. Just a little bit of dubbing to start off with, just a little bit. Again, you're going to find it very, it's going to be a hard adjustment from that last fly uh, to this fly using uh, too much. Now, Antron is good because Antron gives a nice sheen to this. And don't worry, by the way, if the, the fluorescent orange shows through, because that's what Randall's idea is, to have that show through. That's part of the design of the fly. going to wrap it right up to the point and stop. Now we're going to take, uh, notice that we're going to, we got our halfway point there. Now we're going to take our brown saddle and wrap it. I'm going to use it just my hand. I'm not even going to use a hackle pire because it's nice and long. And look how that folds out, how nicely that, that uh, palmer's in. There we go. We tie it off right there. Now we take the wire and just wrap it right in between the hackles. We don't want to wrap down the hackles. We want to just get enough of it through there so that it holds the hackles down. Kind of just palm it through. Cram. And we're done with that part of the fly. Really, you can see the gold and a little bit of the orange showing through. Really a nice pattern. All right, next we're going to add in the elk hair wing. Now, again, you can add some creativity here 
because what you can do is that you can add some of that little bit of flash, that uh, accent mirage underneath it, and that'll make a nice little pattern too. Uh, Randall calls that his crystal uh, stimulator. And right now we're going to start, I've cut some of the elk hair right here. And what we're going to do is uh, make sure doing the same process that we did before, is pulling that out and making it nice and even again, going up against our, uh, our gape. So the transition, if you, if you tied this from the start of the tape, it's all going to make sense to you as you go forward. Now, of course, we've, what we've done is we've stacked it. And this is really important that you do this on the stimulator is you do stack it. Now, we're going to make this far more durable than a lot of them in the shop because they won't go to this much trouble. We're going to make sure that line's right up with the end. We're going to press down and we're going to tie this at an angle, just like that, so that it separates out. We're going to take some cement and add a little cement. This is something that a lot of tires don't do. And we'll as that's sinking in, then we're going to wrap some more, adding more tension. Then we're going to go and get another saddle hackle. We're going to tie that in again. We're going to tie this one, though, in base. We're not going to do the tip on this one. We just need just a little bit of that wrapping. Then we're going to add a little. Notice that the, right here you have your uh, glossy side to the back. And now we're going to take and add just a little bit of dubbing. And this is going to be the thorax. And we'll wrap that forward. Oops, we're going to need a little bit more. That's why I keep it in my right hand. Now the last step is that we're going to wrap uh, the hackle so we can attach our hackle plier, depending on whatever hackle plier you need. You don't need much in the way of wrapping. Just wrap it forward. about four to five wraps will do it. Now right, you're going to kind of come down off of that and it'll slide a little bit, but you'll be fine. Make sure that this is very important right here. Make sure that you leave enough space so you can tie that off, so you're not crowding. I've gone to a, a lot of places and seen stimulators tied and they've crowded the head. Now again, look what I'm doing with my I tying it off and again Let's, let's again, let's review tying it off. We're going to switch hands, pull it up. Now, right now, what I'm going to do is use my thumb to guide my scissors in. I think you can, I think you can see that quite nicely in the camera. Cut it off. And before I uh, whip finish, I'm going, to, I'm going to make sure I get all the uh, fibers out of there. And then I'm going to wrap my thread. And you can see we have this nice little orange uh, head. That's kind of been a hallmark of this fly. Okay, we're going to take the bend, reach up, grab the thread with that hook, form the triangle. I think you can really see the triangle, then go right up to the eye and wrap. How many wraps? About five or six will do it. And, and the infamous stimulator is done. You've got a fly that's taught you so many techniques that's going to catch fish no matter where you go. It is a great little pattern. The Stimulator by Randall Kaufman is tied today by you.